Okay, I'm a friend. Don't worry, just Gatka. You must be wondering what Gatka is. Well, every region has its own martial arts. We have Jiu-Jitsu, we have Karate, we have Muay Thai. In India, within the Sikh community, we have Gatka. The name Gatka comes from the wooden stick used while practicing. It became a form of self-defense for the Sikh community in the 17th century. The 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, further developed the martial art. Now, in the 21st century, the youth is carrying forward this traditional martial art with full fervor. Today, Gatka is a national sport. Yes. How did this happen? In the old times, we used to do youth. Today, we don't have youth. But we play the kids in Shastra Vidya or teach them. So, we had to continue to do it in any way. So, we made some rules and regulations. We took it to a national sport. Today, Gatka has played in around 30 countries across the world, including US, Canada, UK, New Zealand, and Australia. How many weapons are enough? Five is more than enough, or maybe 10. Definitely nobody needs more than 20. Gatka has more than 100 types of traditional weapons. Mastering all these weapons and performing a physically demanding sport like Gatka requires extreme discipline of the mind and body. Gatka just doesn't teach you the self-defense, it also helps you to go out in the world. The Gatka plays a very important role in uh, women empowerment. From being a delicate darling to becoming a warrior, it's itself a journey for me. Gatka may have been born with the need to fight oppression, but today it symbolizes the quest to fight the demons within. It has always been a fight for peace and empowerment. This martial art turned sport is inspiring youth to take care of their mind and body and carry forward an age-old tradition, and that's the Indian way. It